I know what the fuck you were up to, so don't even fucking start. You were over at that fucking cunt's house. I know what you were fucking doing. You are a mother fucking piece of shit. Go fuck yourself. I can't believe this crap. Fuck you. <laughs> Radio Not Entertainment. I'm doing our segment, Meet the Locals. I'm sitting here with the guys at Digital Homicide. How are you? Well, that's good. <laughs> we're doing great. We're excited to be here. It's our first time, and uh, we're ready to destroy the fucking stage. So. Yeah, it's a pretty cool setup here, actually. I've never been out here. Yeah, yeah it's our first time, too, out here. So uh, we found it, and we're ready to rock and roll. A little ways out there. <laughs> For some of us. Yeah. Well, first of all, introduce yourselves. I'm Josh, guitarist. Jeremy, lead guitar. My name is Titty, lead vocals. Robbie, I'm the drums. Adam, play the bass. And finally, I'm Jason. I play rhythm guitar. <laughs> I feel like it's a long way down there. <laughs> you got to turn your mic up even. <laughs> um, so you guys, do you have your EP stream out? Yep. Yeah, okay. Stream, uh, on the website. Uh, check it out on Facebook that way as well. Okay. Do talk a little bit more about the recording process and how... Oh, fuck, man. It took us forever to yeah. get three damn songs. I don't know how people do a whole fucking album. Uh, it, it took us forever, but it didn't help that we're pickier and shit, but, you know, well, that and we got three guitars, so it takes a lot of tracks to get where we want it to be, yeah. and then after that, then, you know, we got to fine-tune what sounds good, what doesn't sound good. Better to be picky than not picky, I guess. Well, like, <laughs> like most artists that are just starting, you know, we're started at the low end, you know, not having the, the amount of funds to do professional studio time and that, yeah. and the process of just getting better and better, and uh, the more people request for it, the more you want to do it. Start yeah. saving your pennies, and then uh, the new recordings that we're going to put out when we decide to is um, going to be more professional studio done. We did a yeah, lot. Yeah, we of did it all of it in our basement. Yeah, yeah, we did a lot of it ourselves, and. Um, yeah, we got to step it up now. So it sounds good, though, from what I heard from what's on your guys' website. Yeah, so. it wasn't too bad. It wasn't too bad, but it can always it can always be better. So well, yeah. always it room for improvement. <laughs> Definitely. Now, Jason, I know you had some health issues about six months ago. This seems like you really bounced back a lot from it. I mean, where? How oh, has yeah. that been? I guess. Uh, it's been a hell of a ride. It's been a long year. I got sick, diagnosed with uh, severe ulcerative colitis, and I was having a flare-up. I dropped about forty-some pounds. Went in at like one eighty-five. When I left, it was like one forty-eight. Uh, got a blood clot in my brain when I was there, caused a little stroke, and uh, yeah, I wasn't sure if I was going to even be able to play guitar again, and then you just keep going, you don't quit, and here I am. So, and these guys have been a huge fucking support, too, so they were there through a benefit for me, and uh, which was fucking kick-ass, Pops, thank you, and uh, yeah, so fuck it. You know, the entire time I was asking the nurses if I could leave to go to band practice and come back. <laughs> You're like, Mr. Ariola, you can hardly fucking walk, how are you going to, I'll do it, give me some whiskey. <laughs> Get through it that way, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, it's these guys behind me that are, you know, next to me that are, are the, the real key. I just get up there and play a little part. They're doing it all, so. Yeah, it gave us a whole new respect for how fucking really hard it is. Like, I tried to fill in for them, do the best I could, but I'm no fucking titty, man. It's, it's, uh, it's, it's tough. Yeah. It's tough to be a front man, and he does it really fucking well. Yeah, it's a whole different beast. But at the same time, you know, you give me a guitar and say play rhythm guitar or lead guitar or bass, I'd, I'd look like a dumb drunk monkey trying to figure it out, so. <laughs> We all play our parts really well, and uh, yeah, we're like a small family. We've known each other for a lot of years, and so on and so forth. So it works out pretty good. Well, I'm excited to see you guys because it's actually the first time I'll be seeing you. So yeah, I hope we put on a good show for you, and you know, yeah. prepare for the worst, hope for the fucking best. <laughs> It'll be good, I'm sure. <laughs> so, I mean, what, what can fans expect from your show? Well, I'll tell you, we uh, we're a new kind of a breed, I guess. It's uh. <laughs> Put on the mics all the time. They can't pass the damn mic. I am telling you. Here, you fucking tell them what we're about, man. You can each tell them. <laughs> well, we're kind of a little different than most. It's kind of a weird, heavy jazz fusion. I wouldn't call it. I guess I wouldn't call it that. Um, it's fucking hard to classify. High energy, definitely high energy. Kind of like a new twist on metal, maybe not so you know, not so melodic all the time. We got some rhythm in there. And uh, we all come from different backgrounds, some heavier than others. 
you know, Blues, Jason down there, he's hardcore heavy. That's why he's got the cutoff shirt. He's got to look tough and shit, you know. But, yeah. He, hey, our, our band definitely transformed after we got this fucking guy over here, man. Yeah. Robbie Zagaris is he's fucking a madman. Yeah, and Robbie brings, you know, a lot of jazz and fusion and uh, just a rhythmic style with the drums, not so, uh, you know, typical triple bass and all that shit. So, yeah, it's kind of a weird... In, kind of weird metal maybe a new kind of metal I guess you could say a little bit of screaming a little bit of singing okay. so let son of a bitch say something <laughs> say something about I couldn't even hear the question <laughs> no. what would you classify as what can you expect from us well I don't know you can expect uh, just a really good show I mean you don't have to be into the heavy things like I am you could be into the lighter side of rock and you're still going to find a beat that you know, you could dance to if you wanted to. And uh, I think that's what's really cool about us. You just can't mosh out there, I guess. <laughs> so. No, there is, there is no moshing at this, this establishment. Um, you know, I think uh, Titty had brought it up one time. He kind of classifies us as like a, a party metal kind of vibe, I guess. You know, we're not in-your-face blast beat screaming at you and we're not you know laid back it's just kind of that you no know, the mixture in between we all have our own uh, influences and i think it kind of our own influences bring us to the sound that we make so really happy with what we do and really excited to be playing here all right <laughs> that's good I, was, I mean you do have quite a few of you guys in the band did your personalities ever get in the way or anything just just his <laughs> yeah. Yeah. As a lead singer, I like to take a break once in a while and go have a near-death experience or two. So. Fuck. Make sure you're alive. I die to live. Yep, I die to live. Exactly. Oh, we, all, we all get cranky a little bit. We all get a little cranky from time to time and a little sarcastic and you know smart ass, but that's about as far as it goes. No, no fists thrown or nothing crazy like that. Oh, we all get along really, really well. It's, it's it's a good time. We have a lot of fun when we're together. If anybody really wants to piss Jason off down there, just tell him to play a Metallica song. <laughs> Not doing it. Yeah, we did a Metallica cover and he used to drive him nuts. <laughs> Not a Metallica fan? Not anymore. No. Okay. He lost his love. All right, so I have a deep question for you guys. I usually ask the bands all one deep question to get you thinking. So, can we have happiness without sadness? Um, if you have the right mind, you can. I mean, our, you know what? Sadness to me, it's, it's a part of life. And, and the, hard, the hardships, if you've got a good mind on your shoulders, good head on your shoulders, and you're open to the world, you'll get through it and you'll learn from it. If not, then you're always going to be stuck in a purgatory kind of mind, you know, kind of in the middle between heaven and hell. Well, I already know where I'm going. It's going to be warm and sunny, so. <laughs> I just think you can't be happy without being sad first because you don't know, like, what your limit is already. So I just think it's... You have to have both, no matter what. So. Yeah, you can't have one without the other. Yeah. If you didn't, if you didn't have fucking sadness, you wouldn't know what the other fucking end of the spectrum was either. It's called marriage. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Half of us are fucking married. We know what that's all about. Sadness. <laughs> I agree. Sad. I guess. No. I got a little bit, and I think everybody else kind of touched on it. It's you can't have happiness unless you know sadness, and I know some sadness, and. uh most of the songs that I write never even make it <laughs> because they're just, they're no good. I think I'd scare people out of here. So that's about all I got on that. I'm happy to be here, though. Well, I'm happy to have you here, too. <laughs> uh, all right, so where can fans connect with you guys? Any uh, social media, any upcoming shows? Well, uh, yeah, we'll give that to Josh. He's our tech guy. We have a website at digitalhomicide.rocks. Just... Spelled out just like that. Um, we're on Facebook. We're on Twitter. We're on Instagram. You can pretty much connect with us on all three of those. We're not as prevalent on Twitter and Instagram, but Neither am I, so. it's it's <laughs> it's 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 one more. It's just one more thing to have to deal with, and it's an occasional post. <laughs> Any other upcoming shows at all? Yeah, we just booked one uh, November 9th. Okay. It's going to be at Pov 65 again. Fucking stoked to be back there. It's a really great venue. I mean, I fucking love playing at Pops, dude. It's great. It is a nice place. It's not, like, right in the cities, too, which is nice. Well, that's what's nice. It's, like, it's a good central location. Everyone can get there. It's, it's a nice place. It's not such a long drive for... Oh, yeah. It's, <laughs> it's a lot fucking closer than here. That's for damn sure. It's a lot easier to drink and drive from Pops than it is here. <laughs> Shh, don't say We that. don't condone drinking and driving. Don't drink and drive, kids, because you know what it does? It gets you one of these. Right there. Yep, I have one. Yeah, no.
I got a furlough from the fucking judge to be here, okay? So I got to get in and out. Otherwise, I'm going back to jail. Okay. Dave from Clobberboot. All right, well, thank you guys for sitting down with me. Do you have any, any other last words? Anything you'd like to share? Meet the locals. Kicks fucking ass. We are Digital Homicide. Well, we'll, we'll see you next interview. <laughs>